you betcha one of the first places that I went to after I was released from hotel quarantine was Michelin star places, yay! More specifically, a cheap Michelin star restaurant. Make that too. First stop is the famous Cam's Rose Goose. Now, there's a few Rose Goose places in Hong Kong that are quite notable, but it's my impression that Cam's Rose Goose is the most famous, and I had to check it out. When I was walking from the MTR station to the restaurant, I was a little bit worried if there would be a long line, and that's because obviously this is a famous and cheap Michelin star restaurant, but when I got there, there was nobody in line. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's like no line. And I was even like, wait, is this the right restaurant? But sure enough, there was this sign and we're here. Honestly, that made me a bit sad because if you look at other videos on Hong Kong Eats or Cam's Rose Goose or even in the Google review pictures, you see that there's huge lines. And that's no surprise, you know, being a famous Michelin star restaurant. But it was so empty when I got there. Um, but I looked inside and there were a few people eating. There were a few um, couples and families eating. There was the option to get half goose, quarter goose, or a whole goose. I tried duck before and duck is pretty fatty and I heard that goose was even fattier so I thought that a quarter would be enough to kind of get a taste for it. You could choose leg or breast. That's the famous goose, we got the leg part. Apparently the leg part is the part you want to get. Side note, the couple next to me also ordered a leg and their leg looked much bigger than ours. Maybe the restaurant gives the better goose to the regulars or locals, I don't know. And I would be salty about that, except that the quarter that we had was more than enough because as it turns out, goose is much fattier than duck. And yeah, I almost couldn't finish it. Now, I came in gunning for the goose because that's like the famous part, right? But I ordered some other things just to try it out. And <laughs> I don't know if I should admit this. I initially wanted to get the suckling pork, but they ran out of that, so I just got the regular roast pork, which was, dare I say, better than the goose. They should call themselves Cam's Roast Pork. And the veggies, we saw everyone get a plate of veggies, so we better get some veggies in us. And the waitress recommended these noodles. I didn't really know what was special about them, but apparently it's the thing to get, so we got that as well. And we got rice for me and a milk tea. They're not kidding when they say that the goose is juicy. It looks so juicy. Goose to me was quite similar to duck, except it was just a little bit more gamey and a lot more fatty. The skin wasn't as crispy as I imagined, but it was still so delicious. Overall, it was really good. The rice was good. The pork was amazing. Gailan was good, no faults there. The noodles were okay. The milk tea was good too. All in all, a very good experience. Now on to our second cheap Michelin star restaurant, Tim Ho Wan. Tim Ho Wan? Tim Ho Wan? Okay, spoiler alert, this one absolutely blew my mind. This isn't my first experience with Tim Ho Wan per se. There was one that opened in Sydney in Chatswood a few years ago. At the time, it was really hyped up. It was the first chain of this restaurant that was opening in Australia and me and my friend checked it out. But uh, we, were <laughs> we were really disappointed. I have to say, I'm not the biggest dim sum person, but now I think it's because I've never had good dim sum before. This is my first time trying it in its original location. Actually, I think the original location closed down, but where it relocated to is here in Olympian City. Oh my God, it was so good. Um, upon first impression, they gave us a tea and then the sheet of paper where you tick off what you want and the quantity that you want. I have to say, Tim Ho Wan is extremely affordable. It was very cheap and being carby, you're gonna fill up. Of course, I had to get the famous barbecue baked buns and hagao. That's my favorite thing at dim sum, even though I don't have dim sum a lot. And we ordered a few other things like the congee. And what are they called? They're like the rectangular rice paper rolls and the stuff in it. We ordered the shrimp one of that. 
um, as well as a jelly dessert. As somebody who's traditionally not such a dim sum fan, I am officially a convert. I can definitely see why they got that Michelin star. Okay, I don't usually eat chicken feet, but I felt like since it was my first time having dim sum in Hong Kong at Tim Ho Wan, I was gonna have to try the chicken feet. And I feel like it's one of those dishes that I'm starting to come around to. Like the thought of it is a little bit iffy. It can be a bit iffy if you're not used to it. But honestly, I think the texture is really amazing. My favorite thing by far was the baked barbecue pork buns. Like there was just just like the the outside of the bun, it's so impossibly crispy yet flaky, but it was still light at the same time, even though it was a baked barbecue bun. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think I don't think I've seen such a bun in the other restaurants that I've gone to in the past. In fact, it was so good that within a couple of weeks, we went to another Tim Ho Wan location and had it again. And we got the glutinous fries. like chicken and pork and mushroom and sausages. I feel like a broken record but it was truly delicious and I would really recommend it if you're in town because I feel like the quality that they have here even if they have chains um, outside of Hong Kong it's probably not the same. I know that the chain in Australia it was worse than an average in some place and this was much better than an average in some place. Tim Ho Wan also didn't have a queue. I would imagine that in the past, pre, there probably would have been a line and it would have been much more busy. But Tim Ho Wan has a few different outlets in Hong Kong. So there's a few different places you could go. And just based on eating at two different outlets, I feel like the quality is quite comparable. At the end of the day, both restaurants are super amazing and deserving of their one Michelin star. But if I had to pick one, I would go with Tim Ho Wan. Kem's roast goose wasn't that cheap, like just comparatively, but I understand that because it's like goose. Obviously, it's a bit more expensive and Tim Ho Wan is more carb based. Leave a comment down below what you prefer. Thank you so much for eating with me. I really enjoy dining at both of these restaurants. Give me a like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Ring my bell so you can keep up to date with me.